Welcome everybody to the new opening video, which I said I'm gonna record on Tuesday or I'm gonna put it out on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I was a bit ill. Um, I recorded it yesterday, which is pretty funny. And again, I forgot to turn on my microphone. This is so, so hilarious. But okay, today we're gonna, we're gonna have the Sicilian Chakover variation. I hope you will like it, you will play it. I I played rapid games yesterday and I won a game in this exact variation. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video, comment if you like it, what should I improve? And the next opening video I think will be with a Portuguese Gambit and this is gonna be really fun. So subscribe to be notified, all my socials down below, let's go into the video. Okay, so uh, we start with e4, logically if you are a d4 player, so just uh, bye bye, no one plays d4 here. C5, knight f3, d6, and queen takes. This is the whole point. Normally, people take with a uh, with a knight, and you know, and you get all these knight or uh, you know, and these guys are prepped uh, twenty moves into the game. You don't want to do this. You wanna you know play something different. And mostly, when I play rap rapids on two thousand one hundred level, you play queen d4, and they are like. 20 seconds passed, 30 seconds. I play classical, I played it last time, and I uh, lost a game in it, but but I had a really decent position, I just blundered a piece, I think it's even in one, in one of the videos. Uh, so, so yeah, but you, you get really decent positions from this. And now, what do they play? Here they can play knight c6, knight f6, I mean, yeah, an a6. So these are the three moves I mean uh, we, we want to consider here. Uh, let's start with knight c6. So this is the main move. You play bishop to b5, you ignore him attacking your queen, you pin the king. And now he can play a6, but after a6 you just take, take, play c4, knight to f6, because, uh, yeah, you just play knight c3, e5, main, main moves, queen d3, bishop e7, you castle, he castles, and this is like the main position you can play. You play c5, and I mean, this is the thing you want to play. You want to play c5 at some point. If he takes right now, you can just trade, rook takes, and you are having a much better endgame. Knight e5, he's got doubled pawns, you are playing for the win, and you can't lose this position. So you want to play c5. Maybe c5 right now is too quickly, maybe h3, b3, this is the set setup we want to have. So now let's go back because this is this is gonna be a position you're gonna have very often. So mostly I get bishop d7 here, and you you take the knight because the bishop which it went there to die, bishop c6 and c4. Again he plays knight f6. In 90% uh, of the time you'll get knight f6, knight c3, and now another three moves he can play or even four. So he can play g6, he can play e6, he can play b6. Uh, sorry, he can play queen b6. Sorry, I'm just dumb. And even e5, but you're gonna play the same setup for all of them. So you you don't have to you don't have to think about it. You just play g6, castles. You just castle. Your king is out of the way. He has to play bishop g7. You have to see that he's still not castling. He lost. He had to lose the tempo to play g6. You are playing bishop e3, castles, queen d3, and you have a very nice. <coughs> Nice position, at some point you're gonna play knight d4. And now, a couple of moves he can play, uh, what do they mostly play? They play moves like a6, queen a5, let's say queen a5, you play b3, you play h3 at some point, um, and, and you are feeling fine. You have to, of course, uh, be aware of this, that he can try to uh, reroute his uh, knight to c5 or e5. Uh, but you know, every time he let's say he goes here, you just move away the queen. You don't want to uh, trade this good bishop, because every time he trades, he's gonna have uh, big problems. Whatever you can take, even with a knight, you centralize this. He's got weak dark squares, and this is what you're gonna exploit later on. And always, if he plays e6, e5, this is the pawn that is hanging. So he has to be very aware of this. This is not, not quite good. I mean, right now, of course, he can get some counterplay, but I'm not saying you have to take on d6. 
uh, he, here you can just go back with a knight, rear out, have a very nice d square on d5. This pawn will be hanging. And you have a very nice position. He has to, you know, somehow maneuver his pieces correctly. And you have just very easy play. And now, this is g6. And now, same same things after e6. So you also just castle. He plays bishop e7. Uh, here you don't have to play queen d3, which is uh, also a very important thing, but, but you can again go, go knight d4 after this. But here, let's say you play b3, he castles. You have two ways to go with a bishop, you can go bishop b3 or bishop b2 uh, after the e6 move, so this is like something you, you can choose. I preferably, you know, uh, like more bishop e3 at some point, maybe after h3, then bishop e3. Because when you put this bishop on b2, very often you just get e5 straight away, let's say queen d3, this is still a problem, and then you play bishop a3. So these are two types of positions you can try to play, and all. And now, a uh, very important thing, don't concentrate only on the lines I'm showing you, of course you can try to memorize them, but this is, I'm just showing you the opening and the ideas. So you have to, you know, sometimes also check the engine lines, analyze your games in this opening, check what you did wrong, because I've played many games in this, uh, I analyzed a lot with the engine. I know what's uh, what's right and what's and you know, sometimes I, I have 17 moves played and I've just played you know I, I just lost 10 seconds on the on the clock or even tw no, 10 20 you know and my opponent lost three minutes in, in, a cl in the classical game I had a situation where, where I had 37 minutes and the guy had 13 minutes in the tempo 30 plus 30. So you see you just play quickly and he has to solve problems. Okay, so this is e6. Now a couple of key key lines also. What if he plays queen b6? And we can't take this queen. Because if you take, then this is an, an unstoppable threat. You can't guard the pawn. So what do you do? You don't trade queens, you play queen d3. This queen here is badly placed, because you can always play bishop e3 at some point. He, let's say, he will play e6, castles, bishop e7. And now we can play bishop e3. Because if he takes on b2, <coughs> there's this interesting line a3. So now this is this is just trapping his queen. If we had a move, we would trap his queen. But he plays queen b3, and now there are insane tactics here. Uh, this this is a really interesting line. Rook fb1, bishop takes e4, queen takes e4. So we just if he takes this queen, he's losing. Because after this, this and this, he is down a piece. A piece for two pawns, but he's down a piece, so he's just completely losing. But he has to take queen c3, he takes the knight, you take on b7, his rook is hanging, rook d8, and now we go knight d4. And you have unstoppable threats, I mean these lines are so crazy sometimes. Here you take this, king h8, yeah, I mean, crazy. But you have really good play he will have to solve problems. And that's the most important thing, let's go back. Uh, what if what if he doesn't take, he goes back? Of course, you play the same setup. You play h3, you play b3. This is what you wanna play. Why do we play b3? Because you don't want the c4 pawn to be weak. Let's say you play b4 here. The c4 pawn will be bad. Let's say rook c8, we play a random move. And he's gonna get this at some point. Bishop here, bishop b7. And this is gonna be very hard to defend. You're gonna have to, you know, put your pieces back. And for now, they're perfectly placed. If you play knight d4, again, bishop b7, really hard to guard this. So you don't want to let him get the c4 pawn. Also, in some positions, you can try to play. Um, let's go back. Let's say, let's take the uh, here, the e6 line, b3. You can even try to play a4. And after a4, let's say he castles, you play b3. You play this setup, and he can't play b5. This, this prevents him from playing b5, because he plays very often a6, and then he wants to play b5. So you play, let's say, bishop b2, and b5 doesn't work, because you always have this double capture, and you are feeling perfect. So this is mostly what, uh, the ideas of this opening, Guys, tell me if you like it in the comments. This is this is mostly this. Also, one more line uh, I wanted to show you some 
some really uh, fun stuff. What if he doesn't play knight c6? What if he plays a6? This also happens. You still play c4. Now after knight c6, you can just go even queen d1. You don't go queen d3 because then knight b4, he plays e6, knight c3. You play the same setup, also h3, but he hasn't got uh, the, these key, key uh Key pieces, let's say I don't hear here you can play h3, even bishop e7, you know, bishop d3 or bishop e2, castles. You have a very nice sorry, uh, you have a very nice position, you have central central advantage. He's gonna he will want to play d5 at some point. You know, this is how you have to play. Always try to implement this c4 move, which is very important. We wanna play this c4. Uh, also, a uh, last line I wanted to show you, knight f6. So he wants to play knight f6 to delay knight c6. Um, and you can give a check. He's going to play bishop d7. This, this is very often. And he takes with a queen. Because he wants to take knight c6, play it with a tempo. And right now you can just play bishop g5, knight c6, queen a4. Queen a4, queen d3. I like playing queen a4. And this is pretty solid. This is pretty solid. You play e6. Castles, bishop e7, knight bd2. You have a solid position, everything is fine. So, you guys, you have to try to implement this in your game. This is a very nice thing because your opponent is out of any prep. So, he's gonna use time. He can, he can, most likely, he's gonna blunder something because if he, does, he doesn't know what he's doing, so he's gonna blunder something. If you play it more and more often, it's just gonna work. You'll see. Till the next get till the next time guys. See you next time. Thank you for watching.